Now, you're looking for the best ranked MP7 class setup. Well, you came to the right place because this class will blow your mind. In a good way, of course. Let's go. So, first things first, the MP7 is definitely the best SMG in the game. But what we're trying to accomplish with this build specifically is we're upping the damage range. Now, I don't have any quick mags on this thing, but you can see the time to kill was pretty absurd. The MP7 does have a six shot kill, and that's going to be the range we're going to want to get into a lot of our gunfights and what we're going to want to make basically farther. Because after six shot kill, it becomes a 10 shot kill. And that is obviously a whole four bullet difference. So first things first, the MP7 does outclass all the other SMGs. And this build and right here is going to have basically everything you need in a sub, right? We're going to be talking about decent movement speed, decent handling. But we are going to be rocking some attachments that is going to hinder that a little bit as well. Now, the MP7 is very good up close. But as you can see, our range, not all the time, but sometimes it slacks a little bit. And it's because it has a big drop off in terms of like time to kill. Smoked! Now, like I mentioned previously, the MP7 has a six shot. And then it goes from a six to a ten shot at its next range now that's a whole four bullet difference that is a big difference of time to kill and when you're playing against really good players in rank play or you know you're playing against ars at certain ranges you're gonna want to put that a lot farther away you're gonna want that six shot to be extended a lot farther and of course when you send that six shot don't forget you're also extending the medium shot range so the 10 shot you know also gets extended so that's why on this wow i just got smoked don't want to talk about it but that's why for this mp7 build and i've highlighted before in previous videos this thing is going to have a barrel extender and our barrel extender is going to give you a 10 percent increase in short range and medium range so it's going to boost basically that six shot kill a little bit farther and that's going to help you get a lot more kills and kill them quicker now obviously I, I am a big fan of barrel extender and my classes i've talked about it and i continue to talk about it and i feel like the barrel extender on the mp7 is just so good it doesn't really give you many cons it gives you that nice little boost of range but you know 10 percent at the end of the day is not a lot right it's not like it's crazy and that drop off you're still going to notice at certain gunfights at certain times so what do i got also on this build i got the chrome barrel and that's going to give a 20 percent boost into damage range, right? Talking about short to medium range. That's gonna make this range go from, I think 17 to 22 meters, or I think it's like 23 meters. So you're basically boosting it by five to six whole meters. Now that is gonna be a pretty big distance and you're gonna notice it in a lot of your kills because at times when you know, you maybe you weren't supposed to kill someone as fast at, at range, you're gonna notice, wow, I just shredded that guy. See how he says 19, 19, 19 at this range is a six shot kill. And that's a decent range to be a six shot kill from here to all the way there as an SMG. Versus if I didn't have those attachments on, it would probably be like over here. Now, the good news is, you know, you're giving a whole 30% boost the damage range using these attachments of course there's going to be some cons with it for example you are going to be losing some movement speed and ads speed using the chrome barrel and as smg you don't really want to lose that right but unfortunately you kind of do beat the bob with the gods gods watching but unfortunately for this build, you're going to have to sacrifice that. And you're going to have to be okay with it. And you're going to have to get used to, you know, less movement speed, less ADS speed. Now, does this make the gun very slow? No. The gun is still going to have decent movement speed. And that's thanks to certain attachments. And obviously, the ADS, the ADS speed is still decent. It's not like super fast, but it's also not slow. You know, it, it gets the job done. And wow, what did I just run into? Matter of fact, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to pop Echelon. And we're going to go crazy. Because now I'm angry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, where is that shot? And why did it not connect? Pop camo really quickly here. Get one. Get two. That guy's absolutely one shot. And he is taken out as well. That's three. So that is going to be the con. But 30% to boost in, in damage range is going to help you get those kills a lot easier. Especially at those medium range gunfights. And gunfights that you'd usually lose because you need four extra bullets. Well, it won't be a problem. Now, again, of course, I'm not going to be rocking any mag. No quick mag nor fast mag for this build. If I didn't have the chrome barrel on, then ideally, you know, you can run like a quick mag on this thing. Because you might as well put it somewhere. But the MP7 does really struggle with ammo, right? That's 35 bullets in this clip. It kills in six bullets up close and 10 bullets at range at very far range look at that look at that time to kill that range oh my god i'm popping off hold on hold on a second let me heal let me heal 
Oh, I'm gonna slap to the butt. Reach out. Oh my god, they're shooting from everywhere. Who do I take out? Who do I take out first? Took you out first. Oh my god, they can't stop me right now. I'm on fire. So this gun obviously does not need quick mag or fast mags or any of that sorts. Unless you just don't want the negatives. You can see it's no problem. Ooh. Now, using an SMG, a little tip for rank play is your positioning is going to be very important. Obviously, you know, you're very limited with a sub. You can challenge everything and anything you want, you know, across the map, especially versus assault rifles, because there's a higher chance of you losing that gunfight. You're going to want to take routes. You're going to want to be sneaky. You're going to want to play up close and personal. And that is going to be your friend. So, you know, you want to take routes on the side. Wow. Where am I getting shot at, by the way? The uh, heck? Wait. Is he still down here? I'm actually so confused right now. And I've never been more confused in my whole life. Absolute laser. Drop a like for that laser. Oh my God. That guy just got pooped on. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as always. And that guy just got ultra canceled. Absolute laser. And then one thing. Oh, oh my God. I'm going rogue. I am absolutely going rogue right now. Okay, I'm going too rogue. Yeah, that was not the best idea, but I was just feeling myself. I'm sure you've been there before. It's something, obviously, to know, and I'm sure you guys realize it, but the MP7 has very low to no recoil. So having good damage range, having very low to almost no recoil is going to allow you to get those kills at range and, you know, take out those assault rifles that are very annoying to an SMG. 19 damage right there. So it's a six shot, six shot kill at that range. And you're going to see why it matters. You know, when you're playing some of the best players in the world, like I said previously, you need to kill faster and that damage range those couple meters can make all the difference in certain gunfights so that is why we're going to be rocking these two bad boys and then on top of it an attachment i want to also highlight is we're going to still be rocking lightweight now i did try collapse with this build and at first i didn't mind it but i feel like strafing on smgs and strafing in general as well is so good like look what i'm able to do as i'm strafing them and strafing around i become a harder target i'm able to you know make them miss and hit my shots even easier so lightweight stock is being used and it gives you a 20 percent boost to ads movement speed aka aim walking speed and on top of it it does give you a slight boost in movement speed which is 2.5 percent which is not a lot but you know it's something and you know we're gonna need some movement speed to counter basically the uh negatives to the chrome barrel i'm gonna pop camel here and i'm gonna oh well at least i took out their ot and we do need 10 points to win and they well we need 11 points if i'm gonna be exact these guys are trying to make a comeback but little do they know i don't lose come here yeah be trying to stop that bada bing bada boom take it to the room ah he was dead too okay joined into a lobby already down 10 points but definitely nothing we can't handle you know if i lose it doesn't count <laughs> but if i win it does Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm popping off right into this lobby. And I get quick scoped, man. So to add more to this class, I am rocking super light as well. Now, super light, if a lot of you guys know, it adds 10% more ADS speed and it also gives you 2.5 increase in movement speed. So with 2.5 increase in movement speed from super light and 2.5% from lightweight stock, you're basically canceling out Chrome's negative 5% movement speed. And you are not going to kill me there, buddy. But I'm not going to lie, you almost did. AP the hill. I don't know what my team is doing. This guy thinks he can kill me, but I have the super meta ranked class set up. And you pop 200 for no reason because you're dead too, buddy. Uh, these guys definitely mean business. These guys aren't bad players at all. I did join mid game, but you know, sometimes you got to challenge yourself and hope for the best, right? I'm going straight to the hill. I'm going to try to catch this W though, regardless. Even if we're put in a very bad spot. It's just spawn on me. That guy has the AK-47 and I am, I am falling apart here. The guy to the left, guy to the right, guy to the middle. Jesus. Wow, I just actually lasered the guy. Two guys to my right. These guys want it. They want it bad. So when it comes to SMGs, Super Light is obviously one of the best attachments you can run. Another good one is definitely Small Vert because it gives you ADS speed and strafe speed. And I do like Small Vert and I do like running it on this class. But the problem is the Chrome Barrel is just way too many negatives. And right there was a 19 shot kill at that range. So a six shot kill. And you can see, I mean, that is pretty absurd at that range. That is some pretty good distance. And that guy just got hocked turn on by the way the hawk 2 girl stole it from me just gonna say that but you know that's another topic for another day I'm gonna pop two here let's get this echelon going 
You gotta get the hill, teammates. I can't get the hill. I can't get the hill, too. Come here. Oh, Gok, no. Oh, Gok, no. Oh, Gok, yes. You know what's also really cool about the MP7 is the fact that the reload speed on the MP7 is actually pretty damn fast. It doesn't take a long time to reload the MP7. I'm gonna play for spawns here. Oh my god, did they see me? I'm so sneaky. Hook a nade. Okay, that guy did not. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh my god, I got my teammate spawns. That was a five head play. Oh my god, that deserves like a thousand likes. And of course, you guys are gonna like the video once you see this class is actually incredible. This guy's spamming crotch shots. I'm sorry, these guys are sweaty. These guys are definitely not bad players at all. But you know, we're only down 10. It's still very doable. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's a nice person to bench in the noodle plex. Really cool. Whoa, he just jumped over me. Oh, that guy. Okay, that guy is. Oh, these guys are these guys are kind of turnt. Look at this guy bunny hopping around. These guys are going so hard, man. Honestly, I hope they win this game and it makes their day. Because they're lucky I'm solo right now. Because they still can't gun me. They can't. But they are probably going to win the game unless I, you know, absolutely fry them. And if I were to rank all the SMGs, I would say the MP7 is the best. Then I would probably say the Vector is right next to the MP7. Then probably the P90 and the MP5. I do think the Vector is very, very close when it comes to, you know, being on the MP7's level. But the MP7 is just a little bit more dominant. As you can see, just me using it. And I'm sure for the people who've used it in the past also can agree that this gun is absolutely insane. Now we're going to come here. We're going to open up a kill. Gonna kill him off the bubble. Gonna smoke the phantom. And just like that, I mean, I broke it, but does it really matter? Because I feel like a one man army right now. This guy even pulled out phantom. They all pulled out phantoms to win the game. So not only do they all get extra 20 health, but they're also throwing, gonna be throwing down shields. And that's what you get. You deserve to get spidered. That's called karma. At least this guy stayed with his liberty. You know, I, I smoked him. You know, that's what I do. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough firepower on my team to beat these guys. Holy moly. Because my teammates are decent, but they're not really sweaty. These guys are like a three-man, four-man stack. Probably at least a three-stack. And they're going pretty hard. Now, I'm not necessarily having trouble killing them. As you can see, I'm on a 10 spree. And I'm currently taking care of business. Because it's what Apathy does. He takes care of business. But these guys are obviously pretty damn good. And they are working together very well. Continue to win and collect the lead. Oh, damn. Honestly, man. I've used a lot of MP7 classes. And this one has been my favorite. Peekaboo. I see you. <laughs> Wait, I hear one near me. Got him. Ah, got shot in the back. That was a free two-piece. Come on, teammates. Oh, my God. Are we doing this? Are we coming back right now? This would be legendary for the video. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, beautiful shield. I'm going to put on Phantom myself. I mean, it doesn't really do much, but the shield would be nice. Oh, my God. Oh my God, we're going to be tied. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're doing this. Kill this guy for me. I don't even want to waste my camo on that guy. No. Oh, he's one shot. Oh my God, this is intense. I have a three, almost a 3.0 KD. Hook the nade. It's hard. Broke it last time. No. Help. Teammate. Oh my God, you're so blocked. Oh my God. My teammate left. Oh no, date. Wait, one of their teammates left the game. Can we do this? Oh my God, they need 10 seconds. Ah, damn. So close. Unless my teammates pull a miracle right now. Wait. My teammate killed him off the hill with a nade. My teammate ulted. Have these lasers done with the MP7. Detonate. I got one. Echelon. Stay in the hill. Stay in the hill. Stay in the hill. Oh my 
god, what an insane clutch! Drop a like, what are you waiting for? 3.0 kill, death ratio, joined the game late, 71 to 26. My goodness, what a clutch. So to show you the class really quickly, one, I do have the prism camo on this bad boy, which is super duper 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 cool. But for attachments, again, we got the barrel standard for the boost in damage range and a chrome line boost in damage range as well. You can tell right quickly, it's going to give you three extra meters to your damage range. So it's going to put it at 20 and I'm sure the muzzle gives you two. So in the end, it goes from 17 to 22, a whole five boosts into damage range and also extend even your short one even farther so your 10 shot range gets extended as well so these are two very good attachments to help you kill faster we got the super light again for the little boost of movement speed and ads speed we got a good old quick draw just for the sprint to fire and ads speed obviously just one of the best smg attachments you can really have on and that's going to help because well the chrome line takes away ads speed and barrel center takes away sprint to shoot time so this is going to help counter that and then we got the lightweight for the boost in aim walking speed and movement speed and the only downside you lose a, a little bit ads stability I use collapse for a little bit i did like it but you know the strafing when it comes to lightweight is just so it's just so good i i don't know what it is strafing in general in any game it's always been so good for many reasons guys if you enjoyed today's video again don't forget to like comment and subscribe what other gun you like me to do and on top of it all i do stream at twitch.tv slash apathy pretty much every day would love to see you come by and say hi and you can actually get this skin right here on the screen if you give two subs to my channel or if you tier one subscription to the channel plus gift one sub. So if you want to come by, show some love, go ahead and I'll catch you the next one. Peace.